Yo, guys, welcome to this week's pod. Um, slightly later than usual, just because me and Ben got back from London late last night. Um, how are we all doing? Chad. <laughs> Had a good weekend. Brilliant. Isn't it? We'll start at West Ham. Um, game of very much two halves, I think. Um, I think yeah. Ben will probably agree with this. We're sitting in the pub waiting for the lineup to come out, and then fucking shock, it's the same lineup as it was last week at Chelsea. Absolute, yeah. That's, yeah. Um, First half, I, w- I wasn't actually sitting next to Ben in the first half, um, but I had to move because the geezer was telling me the reason why West Ham aren't playing well is because he wasn't given a new contract. Um, oh, so I decided to ridicule him slightly and, and walk off because I, I actually, yeah, okay. Um, any comment on the first half, Ben? Uh, no, we were, we were abysmal. Um, conceded in, what, five minutes? And I think the fact that we were sit- we were sat behind the goal and we could pretty much see it coming. I think we were so slow out the gate. Um, I don't really even think we showed anything towards the end of the first half, to be honest. I think we were just, just not really even there. It was, I don't know, we, we didn't really have anything going forward. Passes weren't working. It just, I don't know, we just didn't so I think really does a favour. I think, I think Bartley going off really does a favour. Yeah. Um, we were just, we couldn't string a pass together. Paquette didn't look interested. I think that the stark contrast in the first and second half is Paquette was actually getting involved. Um, he was the main, he was the main change, I think. Semi fell as well. Um, Bowen was brilliant. Kudus was brilliant in the old game, I thought. Antonio yeah, had a good game. Um, Kudus was class. Antonio did bits as well. Um, I'll give him his dues. He played really well. See, it's been our problem for what, 18 months though, two years, not been out of start, start, uh, start quick. It's always been it. We yeah, it used back. to just be the first, what, 20 minutes, half hour. This was the entire first half. Like, Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I don't think, I think if they didn't start giving away corners willy-nilly and we kept on putting on a bit of pressure, I don't think we would have got anywhere from that. I think very much as soon as the first one went in, you knew it was going to happen. Yeah, they just, the goats. yeah they just they just looked shit afterwards. Literally. Yeah, they did. as soon as we got the equaliser, they fell apart a bit. And then that second goal, yeah, it just put them away, didn't it? They didn't, didn't really look like a team that was fighting relegation. Yeah. That was mad, wasn't it? It's mad. Yeah, first half, I thought, mad, mad off, first it. half, I thought, they, I thought they were okay. I thought we, we were bad, but I thought they were okay. And then second half, they just didn't, didn't step it up and we stepped it up. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, I, I, I agree. I think the difference between the two teams was literally just the 15 minutes. I think as soon as we went in the second half, I, I have no idea what was said in the dressing room at Luton, but yeah, they fell off so hard as well. It's a, it, when you look at the game, it's probably like a it's probably like a good overview of what Moyes has been at West Ham, isn't it? Slow starters end up winning the game three one. It looks more comfortable than it actually is. Only good for forty five minutes. Moments of brilliance and just over frustrations, isn't it? I think like the entire game, you could point out the fact that. As soon as we stop being ridiculously defensive, turns out we can actually score goals, and that's that's. I think that's been the whole thing this season. If you're not sitting with ten men behind the ball the entire bloody game, you might actually win something. And I genuinely, it it was. It, I loved Kudus because he just put in so much effort, and it, he's so erratic. You don't know where he's going to go, so he just picks the ball up and he goes, and I'm that way, and I'm that way. He's tearing Luton apart. I'm just thinking now, is it the fact that West Ham stepped up or is it just the fact that Luton just put their foot off the gas? When I mean when I mean stepped up, I, I don't think we were particularly better in the second half. I don't, mean, I don't mean like that. When I mean stepped it up, as in we usually have this period, about 50 minutes onwards for about a good 10 minutes. And then if you get through that 10 minutes against us, we usually don't have another good 10 minutes. And Luton just, they conceded in that 10 minutes and then... They gave away, what was it, six corners in a row? Seven. Um, with War Prowse, the problem is he gets them on the money every single time. He just creates problems. But that, that's um, what I mean. Like, when, you, when you speak to like, like some like football fans, you say they stepped it up. I mean, it, like, they think it's like one was a lot better than the other. Because oh, no, no. everyone, everyone, when you, you score three goals in, or two goals in the second half, the team's flying. Mm. But they never say that the other team drops unless it's like a big team. It sounds bad because I actually want Luton to stay up. But it's like people look at Luton and go, it was always going to happen against the likes of West Ham and, and uh, Brentford and teams like that. And I, I don't know. 
It's weird as Arsenal well because their... Arsenal are poor. It's, yeah, it's, well, what I, it's what I think. They, their success this season has come when they press teams. Mm-hmm. I just don't, I don't understand their tactic. Like their, their first half, as I said, I thought they were okay. And then they were the better team out of us two. And then the second half, they just didn't deal with the 10 minutes of pressure that you need to deal with sometimes. I get what you're um, saying as well. Though, would you just, like... I don't think, yeah, I don't think we, ste- I think we stepped up from our performance in the first half. But yeah, I think Luton fell apart. I think well, it was, think about it, I think we just took advantage. About, we scored with our first two shots on go, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's I, I genuinely just think we, we, we I think we just capitalised on what, what was happening. We could see Luton yeah. falling apart. So we just kept pressing. Um, go on. No, I'm, I'm just, that should check goal. I don't think it could have went in any fucking slower. Oh, genuinely. I, it was, like, it, he's hit it off his laces, but it's managed to die on his foot and still go in. By the way, half volley, weak foot, Thomas Suchek. Where yeah. has that been then for four years? If that's been in his locker, we've been mugged. Yeah, against I know. The con- uh, but against a confident keeper, it's, it's never going in. Like, I don't it, know. It's so slow. It's pissed along. Well, it's not pissed along. It's actually bounced. Like, I don't even know. It's bounced nowhere near the keeper, but it had the keeper time to get there. And it's just like he was looking at it as it went past. And I'm like, that's what I mean, is I don't feel like you stepped up. I just feel like Gluten just shit themselves in the middle of, the, in the middle of their own box. Because it felt like that's where they were 10, ten up most of the second half. I, think they- I, I don't know what Bowen needs to do to score a goal. The past two weeks, he's hit like they've... The frame of the goal, but what yeah. five times in both games? Like it's mental. One thing it's I did like, like though, George Jeffy coming on and scoring a goal from nine straight away. Ten out of ten class. Do you know what's so refreshing? Did, did you see the goal, Gav? What the the tackle the post? post? Yeah, just so refreshing. I can't remember a goal we've scored like that under Moyes, where the striker's in the right position, and it was, you know, and he's not even a striker, but he just. Know, it's, it's the young, hungry players. It's what you've all over the pitch, mate. Off. Yeah, the, the 20 minutes he was on, he was all over the pitch. It's class. He links up with Paquetta really well as well. Yeah, not that that does that not piss you off? Like, I know, I know, they'll pay, I know they'll piss you off, but kind of poking fucking Hornets in this year. Does that not piss you off that you're two games, well, one game now, at the end of the season, and he's only just started playing the youngster that actually plays pretty well every time he puts on a shirt? Yes, time, I, like... I, I, I hadn't heard of him. He's one of the ones I hadn't heard of. I'm not going to go into it and go like, oh yeah, I've been watching him in the under 21s all the time. But like at the end, of the day, I've, I've got a very, I've got a very consistent view that if the first team players aren't doing it, I don't really care. Go for the youngsters. I, I called it after Palace. Um, I don't know why is still starting. Zuma had a bad game, but actually after seeing Zuma play, I am convinced he's got an injury. Um, he just it doesn't look right. I don't know. It's 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 a weird one to explain, but no, nah, it was a, it was overall it was a good sign off day, wasn't it? At the end, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because we're not getting anything from City. It's it's just not happening. It's... No, but it gives Moyes, gives Moyes what he probably deserves, which is a good send off at his home ground, isn't it? Did yeah. you do the the lap for the yeah, last home game? Yeah, yeah he did. I'm, yeah. Su- I'm surprised at that. Why Moyes? No, I think I, I think it was I think it was a very much widely held view for West Ham fans. I mean, I've been Moyes out for about a year and a half, but. I mean, I'm, I'm not also going to turn at him at the end of the season and go, no, you know what, mate? Fuck you. Like, it was a very no, jubilant atmosphere, actually. I'm not, I'm not saying that as on the, on the, a go at the fans. I'm saying it as a go to Moyes. The, the amount of times that he just tucks his head, tail between his legs and fucks oh, yeah. up down the tunnel. He's won, Gav. Like, no, if he'd lost, he wouldn't have. I don't, I don't want to, like, I can still imagine him winning 5-0 and still going, I fuck yous. You mm. got me sacked. I'm well, not sacked, sorry. He's leaving where the uh, fucking politi- politicians want to fucking say. Yeah. Um, but you hear what he said against City next week? No. It'd be hard to stop their under-14s team winning. That, uh, that's good. I, uh, <laughs> and that's what you want your manager to say. No, I mean, oh, yeah, so, uh, I, I mean how, to be honest... At work? In the bin because Moyes I mean, just be honest, said I can't as a West Ham fan. Man. I put all the kids out. I don't really care. I put all the kids out. I know an Arsenal fan doesn't want to hear that. But no, I would. I, I, I don't. No, I just I don't think City will drop points anyway. I no, don't. I, don't I 
the, I just don't. I mean, me and a Spurs fan went on about it, and yeah, as much as I want them to, sometimes you need to kind of think with your fucking head and think, yeah, look at this City team. They don't, they don't, they do lose silly points, just not when it matters. Yeah. yeah. Um. But overall, yeah. though, good sign off to the season. I, I, I'm looking. I, I said this to Ben as well on Saturday. <laughs> I'd love if Paquetta does go, which I think he is going to go by the, by the looks of it when he went when he ran down the stadium after the game. Yeah, I think so. Um, I, I wouldn't mind George Earthy going into the spot that, that Paquetta's playing. I mean, Lopetegui doesn't play like that. He plays in, it looks like a 4 3 3, I think, from what yeah. thing I've seen. But yeah, I, I, I'd like to give him, a, give him time. We've got so many youngsters we've got rid of recently. I mean, you even just think this season, you've got Fred Potts, you've got Flynn Dans, who have both been amazing. All right, one in league, one, one in the championship. You got Josh Cunning at Burnley, who had a banging year last year. When are we going to start giving these kids? No, no, nah, no, nah, we sold him. I mean, when are we going to start giving kids a chance for? We've for, I've, I've, I've got just... Yo, Ben Johnson's going in the summer, apparently. <laughs> no, you know what? It was the Moyes way. He used to play youngsters. He brought Ross Barkley up in Everton, and then it, it's just like after United, he's went fuck the young what. Yeah, he's just like, I want experience. All he wants is he just wants experience and proven players. I don't know. I don't know a youngster that he's raised the profile of. I mean, you could argue Declan Rice, but he was on that trajectory anyway under Pellegrini. What, just Pellegrini put him in the midfield. Yeah, yeah, under, under West Ham. I don't really know a youngster that he's improved. Like, like, like when I mean improved, mm. sorry, then I mean like you look at him now and you go, fuck me, really? Johnson? I don't know. I don't know because he was a bit part uh, player, I think, under Pellegrini. I think he's not really. Yeah. But I feel like he was overlooked under Pellegrini. Not from Pellegrini, but I feel he's like from football fans, he was always, who's this Johnson kid? Now you actually know his first name. You know kind of where he plays. You know what he can do. Yeah, he's not fucking tearing the, the world fucking apart. He'd be stuff, on the pitch to tear the world apart. No, but you know what I mean? But people actually know who he is now. Yeah. Rather we'll than Pellegrini, which is some young... Young fucking boy. Lady King's done his magic, isn't he? Oh, well, you're and your main man. Who's that? Apparently. You fucking El, El Nesri. Oh, El Nesri. Makes uh, sense, doesn't it? Getting Lopetegui. Looking forward to Lopetegui. Sorry, just quickly as well. Bowen got hammer of the season. Totally deserved. I don't think there's any even argument no, for anyone else. I think you could that. argue Paquette are maybe part of the way through the season, but the numbers speak for themselves with Bowen. I think he's the first West Ham striker in the Premier League era to score 20 goals in, this, in a mm-hmm. season. Well, um, it's young, young Harmer. Uh, sorry. Did Kudos get the young Harmer? No, no, no. Um, uh, funny enough, George Earthy got Mark Noble's Mark Noble's award, which I think is the young Harmer this year. Yeah. Um, I think uh, Kudos got goal of the season against Freiburg, which was a given any day of the year. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I think save was Ariola, I think, or was it Fab against Leverkusen? One of them. I was uh, far too many yeah. points consumed. Um. But yeah, no, apart from that, we're looking up on Pesagi. I mean, it's just looking forward, isn't it, now? Obviously, you've had media all week going, you know, be careful what you wish for and all that. But he's worked. I, I think Talksport have all been saying that because by the looks of it, I don't know if he saw it in the group chat that I put it in. They, uh, he's he's going on Talksport for the Euros. Yeah. You just... know what? Talksport's not a, It's not a. It's just a spokes wheel winding up fans now. That's yeah. all it is now. It's not somewhere for it's news. Just... Yeah, it's just clickbaiting, reeling fans in. And I get yeah. that, it gets you views and stuff. But when I'm sitting there on a fucking Wednesday morning when I fucking listen to sport, I don't want to hear fucking Kundi fucking showing at the top of his fucking voice, where the fuck's this team, where the fuck's that team. Shut the fuck up a minute and just tell us what's fucking new in the world of sport. Yeah. Like, the talk sport, no fucking wind up merchants. No, it'd be good to get it'd be good to get Lopetegui in. I think he's probably got if you look at the financial fair play, I mean if the owners are nice about it, I think he probably has about 150 million he can spend. Because I think the rice money goes on this year's statements as well. So but it's just with Paquetta as well, I mean. He's he's gone and he's fucking when City come calling you go to City, didn't you? So I, I just don't and let he would need to be promised something big, I would say, by us to want to start. The thing with Paquetta, it's what name is leaving City? I, I, so I genuinely opinion, think if you told me right now when he gets into that start and he gets into that start in eleven week in week out, I think you actually push Bernardo Silva out of the wing to get him in midfield. Do you take him out? 
No, that's what I'm saying. In my if the midfield for City right now would be Rodri, De Bruyne, and Paqueta. I think that's no. But you're going about you push you push um Bernardo oh, Silva. No, I think you push him taking out. Yeah, I mean, right now, the problem is City don't really have a left winger. They're pretty much putting Bernardo Silva out there at the moment anyway because Grealish is that shit and Doku's on the bench most of the time. Um, oh, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't just, mm, I don't think Jack Grealish has hit form, but I wouldn't say shit. I watched them against Palace. I watched them against Palace and he he was doing bits. Like he was being the playmaker. What I mean, he's, he's, he's disappointed like, this he year, was... though, isn't he? Compared to last year, he's disappointed. Apparently, they wouldn't <laughs> let go of him. He's because he's still... Yeah, but the thing is, he hit his ceiling. He hit his ceiling last season, and he was never going to get back to where he was last season. So I, I think he's one of those players, he's done everything he wanted to. He's won the Prem, he's won the Champions League, he's won the FA Cup, he's won every competition he wants to for club level. Yeah. It's not the fact he's not going to sit there and try. It's a fact of... <laughs> He's won it. Like, what's what's there more to accomplish for him? Like, it I sounds mean, bad, and I get it, but I mean, to be honest, you, you could you could put you could actually put Paquetta left wing instead of Grealish because mm. he's got a, he's got about the same amount of pace. But I I just don't see why you'd give that up box to box. Paquetta is unreal. The work rate you get off him. Um, I, well, you see it next year. You'll see it in a sky blue top. Um, if he's fit all season, which he probably will be, he'll probably be up there with player of the season. I would think if he goes to see. He's that good. I genuinely it's think he's that queen. good. I think, he's, I think he's unreal, Gav. I, genu- I don't know. A, better, a, a number eight, I don't know who's better than him. Uh, in, in like Going forward and back, he is, he is everything. Um, he's yeah, better than Bruno. You know what? That's Bruno one thing that I like him doing. I like his backtracking. I don't like his attitude. I think his attitude fucking stinks. It's all That's all Brazilians, man. Isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly. all, actually, no, it's all South Americans, Brazilians, Argentinians. They're all, they all it's have. Gemini's here, lads. Yeah. yeah. That's just... <laughs> it's just a stinking attitude. I'm sorry. There's that, no, that it's it's examples true. if you want to see them. I think um, Garnacho, Lissandro Martinez, yeah. um, Bruno Gomez, Richardson, Gabriel at times, absolutely. Um, yeah, I'll add Martinelli into that. Um, Finishes June last night. Like, yeah. They've all got shocking attitudes. Yeah. No, 100%. I like actually watching them play. I just think their attitude's fucking shape, though. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. They play lovely football. Just, yeah, just not someone I want to speak to, to be honest. Yes, we're not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking them up for a bite, and that's for fucking sure. Yeah, exactly. What about you, Ben? <laughs> if, you gave me, if you gave me top eight next year, I'll take that right now. Uh... I think without your, without having Europe as like a an obstacle, I think yeah, I'd be I'd be happy with it. I think. So it's out now. To, to oh, eight, so I've got City next, but top eight and no drubbins. Do you know what I mean? No absolute ridiculous, embarrassing five nilers, and I will take that. And half decent football. Yeah, yeah, especially not in <laughs> London derbies. Like I, I just, if if we, if we could get top eight, play good football that I, I could enjoy watching. And we're not getting shafted six nil or five nil here and there. Then I'll be happy. Um, I will genuinely take it. I don't. Ben, be careful what you wish for. Oh, right, that's so... all I'm saying. Yeah, just, just what on. I have heard that saying so many times over the last week. I just want to slap every twat that says it. Oh, be careful just, what sorry, you wish I... for. Oh, you can always then. This... Do you want him? This... No, shut this up. This is then. the first time I've been able to ask Gav actually since I found since he obviously found out that Moyes was going. Do you think they? Do you think they made it obvious that he was leaving because of a business sense as well? And also, I'll just widen that up. So yeah, apparently, if you go off West Ham or an inside at West Ham, seeing to get renewals have been so low. First time, first time in uh, about ten years. Apparently, last in ten years. Do you think they've done that because they they know fans aren't going to renew if they didn't sack him? It's a. I think it's a big part of it. I think it's they help. They've held on to their man for so long, more than they should have, and they've suffered, but they've not realised that they've suffered until the fans actually got their voice heard, because no West Ham fans are like, no offence, these are levelled at the best of times, even about just nothing, but when it matters, it's normally swept under the carpet, remember... Jay, I think you were there the fucking Burnley game years back when you just were on the pitch yeah. getting to the fucking 
that's when that changed. I feel, yeah, I think it comes down to the money side. But I also think it was the noise that you guys were making. It was bad publicity for the club. And that's, that's created by the media as well, with talk sport and stuff, having a go at your fans. And then you're having pops at them. And it's, they can't do, like, it can't have that. It's not healthy. And I no. think they, that's when they kind of went, Moise, you need, you, you need to go. I don't think it's a case of, do you want to go? So, of course, he's just going to fucking go up. As he's already said, I've got a contract. I'll fucking sit, but, I'll sit on it. Before, you, before we move on to Arsenal, just quickly, actually, because this has been pondering in my mind as well. So, he leaves in the summer. Right, Moyes is gone, done, and you know he, he isn't in management at the start of the season. Who realistically is David Moyes' level after West Ham? What club wise? Yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So the reason why I ask this is because it's been touted about that um, his stock's only risen since West Ham. That's fine. It probably has because you have to remember the last two: it was Sunderland and Solskjaer before that. So it's not hard, but. Where does he go? Like, if Man United sacked Ten Hag, would Man United look at him? No, no. For me, it's either newly promoted team to the Prem um, or a low table team. If not, it has to be someone abroad, mate. I don't, I don't see it being anyone. No one in the top half of the table is taking David Moyes. You don't think Newcastle would if they sacked Eddie Howe? No, I'm not even close. Out there, by the way, sorry. I'm no, just... no I, don't, I, gen- I genuinely can't think of a team that would sacrifice like even company right the foot some of the football he's played it has looked sort of, like especially last year was unreal all right he's not got a lot of the results go his way this year why would you trade that to the dross we've had to watch for the last six months gav you've been silent so i'm trying to, i'm trying to think i would say everton i can see i'm going back to everton do you mean as in do you mean as in Everton being in a relegation fight, or do you mean Everton looking upwards trying to go for top ten? Like, is it an improvement on Sean Dyche then? It's a bit of both, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like Sean Dyche. What's he done? He he kept Burnley afloat for a few years and got them well. And I think he got sat. Well, he left or sat before they were relegated. He's too care in out and in and out and in of a relegation battle. Um, yeah, he's picked up points when he needed to. But you know what the big factor is here? Moyes has won stuff in the past five years. He, he actually aspires to be better. And I think... No, he does, though, because he's won... He, he aspired to get into Europe, for one. He then aspired to get down the nitty-gritty side of the tournament. He's then won it. He's won, what, was it no back-to-back finals? Uh, was semi final and then final, but yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Again, what has Sean Dyche done? He hasn't done an no, awful. No, it's not no, me I, degrading him, but uh, the reason why I ask is, is I see him. I, I see him more. At, uh, I don't see him going higher than West Ham. I never see him going higher than West Ham because if you look at West, if you look at, I'd say West Ham are on the cusp with the best of the rest outside of top six. Realistically, we just are probably at the moment, right? Um, is the top six, the top, no one in the top six is going to get him. United ain't going to look at him. Mm-hmm. Liverpool ain't going to look at him. City and Arsenal ain't going to look for him. Spurs ain't going to look for him. And Chelsea definitely aren't going to look for him. Newcastle right? won't either. I don't see them going anywhere. I don't near think Newcastle either. will. No. Wolves won't, I don't think, because they want to play half decent football. They they sack Nuno because they're playing shit football. I was going to say they won't sack Gary on the Yeah. So I reckon, in my opinion, his level after West Ham, the highest level we could get in the Prem. He's possibly a Palace, but they've got a better manager than him now anyway. I, I, I thought Palace, but they're playing really good football mm. at the moment. I, I think the really two clubs football. you can probably look at, uh, or three clubs you can probably look at, is Everton, Forest or Brentford. It's the only few I can see him going to. See, I, I, I thought Brentford, but I don't... I don't see him managing Tony. I, I, I just no, don't. No. He's not driving Do you think he'll be there in the, the summer? Um... I don't think Tony wants to be, but I also I'm not too sure who gets him at this moment in time because our rumor mill has went completely silent on the Tony front. Yeah, I, I, so, I no. I so wouldn't. what you're saying then? Drop down. Is is he is he touting around the relegation zone in the Prem and going down to the Championship? Is that his level now? Yeah, newly promoted no. is what I said. I think he's newly promoted is the way that he goes for. No, I still, it, I still think he's better than the Championship. I just don't think he's as as elite is what he once was. 
But I think he goes abroad, mate. I think he first division abroad. I think he could do that. Does easy. he though? Where does he go? Probably France. Well, I'm, not, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. I'm not witch hunting him. I'm not. But what I mean, I don't know. Everyone goes, oh, we should be happy for what he's done for us, and that's fine. He's won us a cup. I'm happy with that. You know what it is? I'm happy that the four years. But my point is, it's like he isn't better than us, and sometimes the media I think betray him that he's better than us. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. I, I don't think that's the case. And what I mean that is, if you look at his resume right now. Is I don't think he gets in anywhere near a top ten side managing job right now. What just in the prem? Uh, in the prem, I don't think he gets in any of the top four jobs in Italy. Uh, where does he go to Spain? Spain, think, Spain think, don't like him after Solskjaer, Dad. I think so, it would be France or Holland that you go to. Do, do you know what I could see him doing? Genuinely, if it worked after Euros, I could see him managing Scotland, maybe. Mm. But I don't know. Over, I don't know. Over we won't Scotland give it to. Uh, we won't yeah. give it to Steve Clark. Me, he could lose seven 0 and two. Like all the fucking games, you still fucking be there. You know what I mean, though. But out of all of them, I, I, maybe you'd go there if he got allowed it. Maybe press, maybe back to press the north end. Scottish but I, I just don't see what. I, I think he's better off as a coach, to be honest with you, rather than manager. I, I don't think he deals with the management side well. Yeah. Um, he's too opinionated, and you know what? And I say that, and, I, and I, I'm, a, I'm a hypocrite. So I love Diego Simeone and Arteta, and I love the animated ones. I love the the ones that'll tell you how it fucking is. But Moise doesn't do it to say how it is. He sees it to be an arse at yeah. times. Wow. Yeah. The manager that wins. I'll bet you Tana there's going to be a dig about West Ham during the Euros when he's yeah, on top of it. It'll be his first. It, 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 he's going to do the show with Jim White. He's going to he's going to get a dig in straight away at West Ham fans. Yeah. It won't be at the club. It'll be at the fans. Um, and, and I bet you Tana he, he pulls out. And fair enough, by the way, in some of the results, I think the players have given up on him. But also, I think that's shocking for the players. But also, as well, if you pick the same eleven every week after they've given up in the week before, it's also your fault. Yeah, yeah. Drop people, change it up, bring on the young yeah. stuff. Try and put some jeopardy in there. Oh, well, you haven't got to start an eleven position anymore. Throwing the question out there. Sorry, who gets a better job next, Moyes or Southgate? Southgate, every day of the week. No, uh, but I need to remember what he done at club level. He was fucking awful. Awful. I'm not even. I'm not even sugarcoating it. He was fucking dog shit. I, it's, like, he was horrendous. I think the end job's not an easy job, though. He's done bits. I'd agree with that. He's done I, bits with stars, though. No, but that's. Yeah, what I, think I would also agree with difficult that. Difficult because you have so many to pick from at the moment that Do it's a bit of a catch twenty two. You've got loads of talent to pick from, but you have no idea who works with what. It's a bit of a. You know what he runs me as? It's, I, I had Danny Mills going about this. The reason why I ask is Danny Mills reckons he should be in the running for the Man United job if Eric Tenner oh, gets sacked. Fuck off. Right? Jesus Christ. I genuinely think, Garrett, are you, what, you think you would be, Ben? Yeah, I think you could go to United. Fuck off, Ben. No, I good. genuinely think <laughs> Southgate going to United, all they're doing is getting another Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in there. Yeah, but. That, no, Tosh, no. That, 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 I don't like Ole United to fucking slate on Ole. I think Tim uh, proven that he's not up for it. I'd agree with that. I would agree with that. I, I don't see Ten Hag being at the club, but Southgate is patching a fucking hole with blue tack. No, do you know what I... he needs to do? Is if, if Southgate got the job, he needs to go in and he needs to bin like six players and just get him gone. And then he yeah, needs but, he, to... but he doesn't do that, Ben. This is what I'm saying. Right. So I, I, I would... After this, I, I... he's going to YouTube and, and just go Southgate's club highlights. There's none. Because guess why? He was shit. Oh no, I'm not saying he won. What I'm saying is what he's done for England, he hasn't done a bad job. And I, I, I would I, I would agree, yeah, and he deals with certain aspects of him a, a manager really well. But one of the things he doesn't get, which is why it kind of came across my mind when I thought about Moyes, is he doesn't drop players. Maguire, he's still there. Henderson, he's still there. Rashford will probably be in the Euro squad. Why is he in the Euro squad? Uh like do you know what I mean? Pickford. Well, yeah, there you go. Yeah, short arms. He's been there there two years longer than he should have been. Yeah. Um yeah, no, I, I don't know. I, I don't think Southgate gets a top 10 job. I, I just like to throw it out there. I, so are you saying, Gav, Southgate or Moyes gets a better job? Moyes. No, 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 no. I can what. What I think is it, Moyes. What will happen is Southgate. And then everyone's going to realise how much of a shit cunt he is. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, uh, oh, he's awful, man. You know saying this? Southgate's going to win Man United the Prem next he's, year. He's you know? the same <laughs> Alex Ferguson. He ends up winning about he, 10 Premier Leagues. He, I'll shave my head if he fuck. I'm already halfway there, but I'll <laughs> fucking shave my head if fucking he, he wins the league with United. But it's a nice wee swag win to United. 
how much have they fucking fallen off their pedestal? Like, this is it. This is insane. To go to yeah. the world, whoa, 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 whoa. Are, are you on about the game though against you lot? No, I'm gonna be at all. Right, I'm I was gonna say because I genuinely don't think they were that much worse than you lot. I don't know. That's controversial no, to say. I mean, they are that much better. As it was said after the game, we didn't throw off the second second gear. The whole game. Hmm. No, I, I said this to Ben, I don't think he's needed to. And as I've said, I've, I've actually given you compliments the last fortnight, every single pod, is I think you're doing such a professional job of just going, we're going to keep this pace, and if City drop points, brilliant. If they don't, we've done our job. But when was the last time an Arsenal team went to Old Trafford and went, we we don't need to play to win. Oh yeah, but did Palace not beat Man United at Old Trafford as well? Like, no, I, I, you know what I mean. We yeah, it, no, I, I get you it. Have those I... games like United always have those games against us where they could go on four, four or five game losing streak and still manage to fucking beat us. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna lie. I think they done. I think they done a number pretty much only for eighty minutes against you, like the Emirates, at the start of the season. When it was um, one one. Ah, but that, that's what I mean. I mean, did we? It was a weird game, that one. But we're that, not on about that, that that's game. Been, that's been Ten Hag's season, isn't it? Grind out he's results. very much... Yeah, it's one of these... It's one of these never... Put, mate, they beat us 3-0. I couldn't tell you how they beat us 3-0. No. I can't remember the goals. No. I'm just... But it's just like, you know, you just sit there and sometimes you go, we've been a better team. How the fuck have we not won that? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I just I just find it... I just find it... I don't... I hate United. I fucking hate them. Mm. But watching that game... Normally, I'm up for that game. I'm normally up for giving a bit of banter to, to one of my United pals. We both just were like, what the fuck is this? Dead rubber, wasn't it? It was dead rubber. Yeah. Man United didn't need to win. Well, actually, no, they did, though. That's the thing. They actually looked at the, if you actually looked at the league, they kind of did need it. Yeah, they did. A, to get in the Europa League. To be comfortable, but, yeah. Because uh, if, if they won against you lot, it makes us, we couldn't catch them even if we won against the City, which we're not going to win against the City, but, you know. Um, have you yeah. not seen that thing that apparently Rooney brought out, and then apparently another couple of Man United stars have come out saying that the um, they should play for the their injuries. No, the players that are injured aren't injured. Oh um, yeah, no, I agree. They're saving themselves for the FA Cup. Are you being fucking serious? Oh, I don't know about that. I just think they're just saving themselves for the embarrassment. If I'm being totally honest, I think the one ten had gone. I think, I, honestly, yeah. I think I think they just want him gone. And you, every time it comes to the end of a Man United's manager's career at the club, it always comes out that there's people in the dressing room and they go to the media. And it, you know, I reckon they've not done it this time because it's always publicised and they're just doing it a different way. They're just going, we're not going to fucking play for you. Like, But I find it funny because we had all the fucking injury issues for years under fucking O'Driscoll. Can't went to United this year, and half the fucking team's deceased. Like, I fucking love it. I'm not saying that we sold them there because of that, but uh, that's quite fucking funny in my part. Like, Who's at fault for the goal? Classic yeah. Why the fuck is he so deep? Like, like there's, there's no reason for him to be that fucking deep. No, but you know what? It's on our nine, Casemiro. But also, I was going to say, I he wasn't know. a centre back. No, we... He's not a centre back. It didn't work the week before, and he just played a minute again. By the way, sorry, low key. Do you know who was like one of the man of the matches for me? I know William Saliba got it. Sofian Amrabat. I don't know if I'm just going mental or not, but he actually had a proper solid game. Did he not? Just get, did he not get sent by other guard though? Like I don't mean sent. I mean fucking. Oh, yeah, he, or, he got fake bodied one. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I, I knew you were going to bring that up. But, he just went but, fucking. But flying. genuinely, I thought he had a half decent game. I thought he was okay. Yeah, that was good. Um. No, but you know what? Go. It was good, actually. I'll give him that. Dallo was, was good, actually. Good. He was good all game. It's, it's the only shining point out of that team. Oh, I don't know. I, I think... I think I, no, was I, I think Carl was decent as well. I think that's how bad the rest of the United team was. Mm. Amrabat shines in poor games and never performs when that's a good game. It, it's, it's there to go watch. Every poor game on United have... Armabat's always the name, like, oh, look at him. He's the one to go in midfield. And then they've gone on the road to fucking, I reckon, Brentford and get beat 2-0 when he's playing there and it's like, oh, he shouldn't have played there. 
That's good. Yeah, it's no, I, I, no I, as I said, I, it was quite a surprise, actually. I said this to Ben when we were watching it. I was going, Joe's actually having quite a good game. Amrabat. Also, as well, I thought Ben White was shocking yesterday. I don't know if that's just me. It's not deals pressing him. We didn't uh, press. We, we just kind of... You don't press now, though. You've got a weird type of... We press in midfield. Man man. No, yeah. but we press in midfield, and we never done that against United. Uh, United. Yeah. We did up until the goal, and then we just went, ah, oh, you're not fucking scoring. You don't have Fernandez. Um, pen or no pen for uh, Ahmed Diallo going down? Oh, fuck, I can't so remember. Them, so I'm well, gonna say my, my question is, what part of the ball did they get? Yeah, so uh, it's a pen. Um, I, the reason why I... Picture, because I can't so, remember. I, I, I can't comes remember. In the right, comes in for the right wing, uh, knocks it past, I think it's Declan Rice, and then tries to knock it past. Parted. Is it party? Well, and then party the basically... Floor. He slides along... Ahmed Diallo leaves his foot behind to go down in the penalty area. In my opinion, if you give him the habit one last week, if you give him the last one, if you give him the last one last week, it's pen. Oh no, no. So like, I, oh, no, I, I think it's, it's I agree. Not, it's only if he's been given the same sort of thing before, it has to be given. But what is consistency? Yeah, no, it's, 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 what is consistency? It's it's. It's last Saturday giving you a penalty for it, no, and no, then this not... Sunday not giving it. That's not what I mean. I'm not fuck off, you fake. I know what consistency actually is, but it's not consistency with the refs because it start of the season they're giving, middle of the season they're not giving, end of the season oh well we don't know because it was given and not given. There's too many that, that you could go, but that was given, yeah, but that it, wasn't, but this wasn't, the, that the wasn't. The difference is, this is weak difference. I, I don't think I've seen this blatantly. It's, it, it's actually weak difference. The same thing we've said all year is that. No, but Ben, Ben, like compared to the start, when, when we went, when we went oh, at the start of the season, you know, they were giving more contact and not giving fouls. Then at the end of the season, they've just been light touch. This isn't even like half and half. You're on about what? You're on about six days. Yeah, every, every week now. Every, every week we come on, there is all there is another decision which we're sitting here going, well, what the hell is that then? And th- this is just that one for this week is that there is no consistency again. Like it's it's just is it refs is it refs not wanting to get involved at the title yeah. race? Yeah, it's this bottle again. It, 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 this is what I said last time. It's bottle. The refs get paid to officiate the game, but when it's a decision that could impact a team's running or where a team really? could finish. They just shit it. They, they oh, oh, well, I'm not sure I want to do that. I don't really want to dish out a load of cards. Slide though. Sorry, what? I just, I just, I just watched that. Party didn't really slide though. He just sort of was sunbathing. He gets in, contact in, in town. Oh, in the box. But the players ran into him. He's yeah, same like, as, he's same as Havertz. Yes, same as Havertz last week. No, but I'm just oh, saying. So, I no, didn't the, think it was the only way it is is because of when he's gone up and he's been clattered. For me, yeah. all, all, all I've said, all I've said all season. If you're gonna give him, just give yeah. all of them. It, that's all I'm saying. But this is this. Remember when the claim to fame was Scotland England? Is when we drew two two. We used your arm then, and that free kick. Well, you say it wasn't a free kick because the boys ran into him. The boys on the floor and the Scotland boys just ran into him and just went oh, and got a pair of free kick and Lee Griffith scored. Do you remember that one? That is yeah, what, about eight years ago. No, but the, yeah, but it's the same equivalent. The boys lay on the floor, and the boys run into Part him. Is not the problem. Gabriel's the problem. No, not for me. I, I don't know what you're about with Gabriel. You've said this three times now. He plays that in midair. Well, why is that? No, I don't think he does. He's already going down, mate, from party. No, I don't think he is. Um, I don't think he does. He's. I. I think he's looking, and I think Harvard was looking the week before. I'm being consistent, so I didn't think Harvard was as a was a penalty. No, I agree. I also said Sarkis wasn't a penalty, but was a penalty. Sarkis wasn't a penalty because he left his leg in, but it was a penalty because Moyad went into him. But that's not a penalty. Party's on the floor. Oh. He's on the floor. Dell is going to Dell thought he's going to be smart, but he's but not it's... fucking smart. He's a dick. I, I hate to throw this question every single week, right? Uh, the only difference between the Havertz one and this one uh. is the fact that the ref called it a pen and VAR didn't. If the ref called it a pen last uh, yesterday, would VAR have overturned that? But I think this one, there's an argument for it because it's not a sliding tackle. It's not really even a tackle part. He's on the. He's just sat there. I, I struggle it, with this. No, but he is. He's just sat there. 
he'd made contact though, Gav. Is my no, point. I'm sorry, no, Gallo's made contact with him. D- d- let's have that right. He hasn't slid and then to come out. He sat down while the owl was running. Like two steps before. You're not telling me a Premier League footballer can't see a body fucking on the oh, floor. I, I don't right, two sentences, right? I'll hold the premise. I, I've said this and I'll say it again. So I don't think it's a pen. No, but did party get him or did he get party? Party's in the way. Parties were struck to him. You're not, you're be... Yeah, parties were struck to him and made contact. Did party get him or did he get party? Party got him. No, he ran into party. I think is what I mean. He's on. There's two, there's two steps, and you're not telling me he could have went over party. But right, and, and what I'm saying to you is very clearly: why bother if he knows refs are giving him? Why bother? Because why are you leaving it in the in the refs' hands? Because because the exact same reason you lot got a pen last week because you're making a make a decision. But we all moaned at Saka for not staying on his feet. So we moaned at Saka we moaned at Saka for not staying on his feet. No, completely no. And and, 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 and I, 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 yeah, hang on, but that one of the noise is shocking, mate. But um, no, it's completely not, different. No, I mean, we're moaning about we're moaning about players going down. You know what? Sometimes when there is con like. For shoulder to shoulder, and there is that force. Yeah, they, they can go fucking flying. There's no force in the taco. Party hasn't lifted his leg. He's not done anything no, to I'm... set him down the way he did. The yeah, boys. I'm, I'm, not, played, I'm, I'm not saying, saying. There is, but I'm not. I'm not backing up that there's a pen. But what I'm saying is, if you're going to give them, give all of them. Is all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, we said this last week. Mate. It's, it's a carbon it's copy to have. It's the same one. thing. There's no bottle. I just, I, I, I don't know how anybody. I, the refs are useless. We said this every week. Yeah. The refs are useless. They're not consistent, and it's not going to improve next year. They say it will do, but it won't. But that not going to get any better. We're just going to have to put on the random more of the clear cut crap decisions. Shouldn't be a pen. Yeah, it's going to be the same. Yeah, the same uh, it, that one's. It, it's going to be the same next year, but this one's more of the clear cut of the ones that aren't a pen than the ones that are a pen. You know what I mean? Right, but if you've got precedent of giving them, then you give them. No, but that's what I'm saying. You've got one week the referee will give it, mm. say my clover gives it. Then the next week David Coop won't because of the backlash yeah. yeah. my clover's got. Yeah. That's where the issue comes, is they've got no th- they're not thick skinned anymore. What was that Italian ball yeah. teaser? The one that he's fucking he's just pop out the fucking his head in like scrap with the players. Yeah, Kenny, we need as a as a ref next season. The Canyo. Who the fuck's arguing with him? Oh, I have no can Get him in. I mean, yeah, but you know, I, I don't know. I just find it funny that the Miles are United and they still back Ten Hag, and I don't know how. And then I just don't get it. I I like, don't think they want to switch managers again. I don't think so. I don't think they'll get rid of him in the summer. I think he'll have one more year just because there's so much change I, happening in yeah. the next twelve months. I think United. Ten Hag's got a lot I don't of agree with it. With the FA Cup, it comes down to the FA Cup. If he gets fucking spanked, he's gone. Well, does it though? Cup, because uh, as yeah. you've just said, as you've just said, you you automatically think they're going to get spanked. So it's no surprise if they do. But why does no, it matter? No, because as a Man United as a club, they need to look at it. They need to look at it and go, fuck, he's just been spanked. It's different for fans. We can have the, the banter. I'll say it on Sunday morning. We're going to get four past them. We're going to do this, we're going to do that. But as a team, like as a club, they can't afford to have a manager going to get spanked in every time they play City. It's honestly okay. man v boys. In Ten Hag... I don't know where he fucking fits in there because he dresses like a fucking old man, but he's got the attitude of a fucking twelve-year-old. Yeah, he's he's letting like, down the club. Um, I'll be interested in what he does. The, the, the <laughs> thing is, right? He goes into interviews and he could get beat five-one and go. I oh, played well, though. No, no, he didn't play well. He just conceded five fucking goals, yeah. dickhead. That's what Moyes does, mate. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, just to put up, actually, I'm going to bring one last thing up. The uh, tomorrow we have probably the the, the side of the season game at White Hart Lane. 
Uh, well, sorry, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We can't go to Wild Lane anymore. Man City versus Spurs. Loads of, you know, controversy. Sort of topic gone on yep. about this. Oh, get all their kids out and that, and I don't care if they lose. And then, and then you've got Arsenal fans <laughs> turning around. Two seconds. Then you've got Arsenal fans turning around and going, oh, well, it's a joke if they t- put their kids out because they should just want to win a game and it's professionalism and stuff. Can I ask you something? Go on. Arsenal fans need to remember back in the day, right? When they were in the Champions League final and we were all going, oh, we would rather anything but Spurs do this. We should do this and we should... Now it, the shoe's on the other foot. You know what? I, I like the whole bantery type of football stuff, but don't be hypocritical. I don't want Spurs to win. Spurs don't want us to win. Like... It's that's just football. You just don't want Millwall to win. Fucking Millwall, eh? Uh, you just don't. Want, you just don't want Millwall to win. Millwall doesn't want you to win. That's I, what I'm trying I'll to say. Win. But <laughs> Ars- Arsenal fan TV or AFD, whatever they're fucking called, some of them, I can actually sit and watch them. Lee judges, Turkish. Then you've got the other ones that are like Julian. totally. Oh, he's a dick anyway. The fucking egghead. Fucking. I, not that that's a girl that anyone that's followed the challenge, just to make... Yeah, there we go. Right. Why the fuck are we surprised that Spurs don't want us to win? You know, I I, I don't understand why we're so shocked at this. Also as well... It, that's it, 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 him. If anyone seriously is going to come up with the idea or, or try to put out that Angie's going to put the kids out, they oh. need to get a grip of themselves because there will be professionalism in the ground. It'll be one of the weirdest games you would have probably ever been to if you got a ticket because there is so many free tickets because no one wants to go. Because they know what's going to happen. We're, we're, we're moaning about, oh, sports fans said they're going to wear city, uh, city shirts and all that. I don't give a fuck what the fuck they wear as long as they turn up and do a fucking job on City. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, I don't think it'll fucking happen either. I can only fucking touch wood and fucking fingers crossed and four leaf clover yeah, and all this fucking and all shit. That. Yeah, because I think, I think you're going to bloody need it. Just... But at this rate, it'll be just, that, it'll be just <laughs> everyone else's luck, right? This will be the one game that Ange manages to put a masterpiece and he'll take points on City. That won't happen. Will not happen. But, you know, Arsenal, like some Arsenal fans need to get back in their box. And yes, we can be all high and mighty because we're higher than, higher than them in the league and stuff. It's football, though. Like, no one goes out there to lose. Yes, the performance can look like that because how awful teams can play. But no one goes out to lose. If you go out to lose, then... Like... No, you don't deserve to wear the shirt. If you go out and you, you play to lose, you don't deserve... Yeah. But I agree. Right, it, it, it's the same with us. It'd be the same with Chelsea. If, if it was Chelsea-Tottenham or Chelsea-Arsenal, you'd be sitting there going, right, well, we don't want them to win the league either. So, yeah, you don't want your team to go out and get pumped, but you're also sitting there going, fan-wise, and what I want, yeah, I'd rather we, I'd rather they got beat. I'd rather the Spurs got beat so that... <laughs> It, may, it does make it more difficult for you, know you what, but then again, I, I wouldn't pin your hopes on us the week after that, to be honest. Even if Spurs get beat. No, but you know what it comes down to? It comes down tonight. It comes down to Liverpool Villa. If Villa don't win, Spurs need to pick up a, a point at least tomorrow to keep their hopes alive in Europe. Again, well, in, not, in, in, no, not fun, isn't it? against Liverpool. Liverpool Villa. Is it no, no, to fit a uh, fit a uh, full gone, full gone for them. No, but that's what I mean. If if Villa win tonight or even pick up a point tonight, Spurs don't have a re. I think Spurs will go out and play tomorrow anyway. But Villa win tonight, they don't have a reason to play the next two games. They'll just play for the fun of it. Villa don't get any points tonight. They've got point. They've got points to mm. get to get into Europe. Right, yeah. to get into the Champions League, sorry. They've got a purpose to play. Can that, can that affect the team? Of course it can. Remember the Battle of the Bridge? Yeah. Spurs on yeah. Spurs, Spurs with Chelsea. That had the, everything on it. That was one of the best London derbies you'd ever yeah. watch. And yeah. Genuinely. Goals, um, drama, handbags, the whole lot. Brilliant. And, yeah. I, I'm going to say it now. Don't think City are drop points. Nah. I, I hope I hope I fucking jinx it. I really hope I fucking do. But you know what? I'm not gonna sit here and go the better team lost the league because 
the better team is the one who wins, who's at, at top, but game 38. Oh it, my God, it's, uh, it's an Arsenal fan that's refreshingly honest, that's nice. No, I, I it's, it's because, because you, you can win a knockout competition with luck, right? Like when you look at the Champions League, if Real Madrid or Bayern, uh, Real Madrid or uh, Borussia Dortmund win that, the best team in that competition hasn't won it because it would have been Man City. It's like knockout competitions um, are luck. A season you can't get luck with. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, no, it's... if you look here, though, Villa's done the double over you. We got a, we got a win against you. Villa did do I, the double over us, yeah. As I said, as I've, I think I've said this pretty much the last month, is I, I think the place where Arsenal fell over was having the arrogance of thinking we only need to draw against the 88 had. I, I thought about this before and I disagree with you, mate. Um, I know you said every week. No, I, I think if you look at if after the season's concluded and stuff, the game you look at Villa. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd agree with you, but you were still that's the game. Well, no, but you still no, because if you beat City, if you went to the AR and beat City, you'd you'd be at the top of the league right now. No, yeah, but no, if buts maybe's that's what that game was was if buts maybe's if we do this, what if we do that? Villa was when we beat them. Villa weren't playing good football at the time. We were. And we should have beaten them. It, that's a should have. That was an if, buts, maybes. We were all Arsenal fans and we're going to beat them 2-0, 3-0, 3-1, whatever. That was a game we yeah, should have won. And... and we should have lost any other game. Yeah? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I partially disagree with that, but it's, we'll bring it up next week when the, uh, the penultimate end of the season is. Um, well, I will work it out, by the way. Uh, before the before next week is who is wearing their rivals top for the first episode of the new season. I think I know who it is. Yeah, but it's I just need to double me. check. I think it's... it is you, Gav. Yeah. No, I fucking know it's me because I said Chelsea's going to finish somewhere and we're um, getting fucking relegated. Which means it's I think you're going to get a nice little Man United Van Persie top. But we'll. I, um... I swear to God, I'll fucking burn. That. I'll fucking burn that with me wearing it. But we'll. Uh... I, I, I'll bleach my fucking skin. At least one bit coming, Gav. Is you did say in September that Andrew would win the league when they were top of the league. Did indeed. Before um, we go, though, we can't... It would be a miss to not remember 12 years ago today. The best moment in Premier League history. The Aguero nice goal. Win of some sort, would it? The Aguero goal against QPR to win them the league. That's just not the best moment in Premier League it history, is, so. is it? It just is so. Because it still spoke about 12 years ago with the, yeah, with the yeah. hardest day. Was that the uh, uh, Palo de Canio when he pushed the referee over? Was that Premier League still? Was that Old League 1? Because if that I was Premier League, league I'm sorry, that's league. the best moment in Premier League. No, but yes, but no. He literally locked the referee. Like, no. you got no, 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 come on. That was funny. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I get that, but this, no, that's not football. That's a, that's assault on both fucking accounts. I know, it's hilarious. It's As I a child, like, there's loads of amazing Premier yeah, League. Yeah, exactly. right. When was the last time, this was the last time a team won it with the last kick of the game. Won the league with the last kick of the game. To win it over your rivals, over 30. That goal is poetry in motion. The commentator, fantastic. The goal, fantastic. The celebrations, Fantastic. It's the best moment in Premier League history. We got Pete just Drury is. on here, haven't we? <laughs> no, it just is so, man. Like, I don't it... understand what people can say it's not. How backwards, by the way, are Arsenal fans? Honestly, oh, he's wearing an Arsenal top. He's an Arsenal fan. He doesn't like City, but all he goes on about is fucking City. Yeah. He's mad, isn't he? You know, it's, you know what? You have, have to... Have you got That's Kevin De Bruyne squash. slapped on the back of that top? Is that what that is? No, it's, it's, mean? it's blank. Um, yeah, it's it's blank for when we win the title in Daniel. Oh, oh, that is plenty. <laughs> uh, just to ask, just find out when's your gunner of the year at? Do you know, or gunner oh, of the season? That, sorry, it'll be after the final game of the season, I think. Oh, is it okay? Because that's our last home game against Everton. Oh, of course it is. Right, okay. I'm assuming there's a lap of honour at Odegaard taking pictures of everyone that game as well, or is it only dependent? Well, we'll really get a walk around the pitch. There'll be a uh, colossal they'll light bulb in the middle of the pitch, pitch and then they'll have teeth training afterwards. By the way, actually, I have a question just before, right? 
Why? <laughs> right? After half time, why did you have a team huddle? Have you not just spent 15 minutes talking to each other in the changing room? No, not talking to I don't do what they do. I said this to Jay, I was like, they must just sit there and Arteta just walks past going, ah, every old time, like, because it doesn't make sense. No, he's, he's literally, he's grabbing a light bulb going this. Or Illuminate the right? <laughs> Second half. Is that new? Start right. you got you got Paul oh. Merson in there. I mean, the when was the last time we went unbeaten against the top six? Sorry, the big six from the fucking the call. stats out today, ain't he? No, 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 because what? We beat City, we drew with City, we beat United both times, we drew and beat Chelsea, who drew and beat Spurs. Like, you know what I mean? Um, when was the last time we did that? When was the last Villa, time? A Villa the last not in the top six. Trafford. No, they're not the big six. Oh, I, oh big six, sorry. I, I said top six and went to big six. I mean... That is a that is a term that I absolutely loathe, and you know I hate that. But it's fine because the big six <laughs> is full of absolute shite. Yes, but when I, it's exciting times as an Arsenal fan. Is it no? Yeah, yeah, it is. Because even if we've not even if we've not won the league this year, fun. it's a big fucking if. It's a big fucking if. We're still playing good, attractive football at the best of times. Like, you know what I mean? Go on, Ben. I mean, if you take it, if you're taking United's game at the weekend, there's a fucking cross take your fucking hat off, son. It's too face. tight. I disagree against Spurs. I think we just took the, the foot off the well, pedal again. Like, um, compared to last year, you were exciting to watch, you were impressive. Um, yeah. I think, especially this half of the, the year, from January onwards, You've been so fucking boring. Four centre backs and two old. Yeah, just... No, but two seconds here, right? It's the same. And if you play, you, we played the best football we've played in a decade last yeah, season. I agree. Last season, yeah. Last mm-hmm. season, a decade. We're never going to play the same. I, I don't know, because you've got you still got the same squad. I don't see why not. Because if you still got the same players on the pitch, you've got the same manager, why can't you play the same football? I've got fucking headphones and I can fucking hear you. It's not what I said, what up? I don't get your thing. Yes, they're the same players, but you're not telling me, like, the likes say Bayern last year, it's the same the same group of players, basically, just what Harry Kane added in. So they, they should have dominated. That's their opponent. What I mean is, I'm on about just the football you're playing. Not against other people, I just mean if if you were playing ex- uh, exciting attacking football, which you were last year, you you were actually decent to watch last year. Whereas this year, I think no, it's just, I think you're very much. It's just, you, you don't know about Arsenal last season, this season. I'm going to be Bayern last yeah. season, this season. I, I, I'm I'm genuinely too. It's because li- literally they play with four centre backs and, and they brought in a whole midfielder that can't pass forward in the summer. Well, we've got two hundred million to spend again this year, so hey, hey. Yeah, and you will. Hey, and, and do you know what? It's not even a dig, right? And and if an Arsenal fan wants to come at me for it, they can. You're going to spend another two hundred million and finish second again, because it doesn't. Arteta doesn't have it in his chops to beat Man City, and you know if he would, because as I said to you, and we'll have a discussion next week if, if it comes to pass. I might be completely wrong, by the way, so that's fine. But you lot lost that league at Etihad. I'm not having it otherwise, because if you lot win that game, you've won the league because you ain't dropping points otherwise. It's in your hands. I've never known a team to go seconds last year, be ahead of the league for so long, and then the next season when you've put, put an extra two hundred million in, you go to your biggest rival, to your title rivals, and you sit back got for a draw. It's mad. Who have you got next, Dav? Huh? Eh? Um, yeah, yeah I, I was going to say, I don't. <laughs> Sean Dyche yeah. special. Last day of the season, somehow Sean Dyche pulls a result out. He's done Liverpool, and he's sitting there going, I'll have Arsenal next. But we'll have a we'll have a full discussion about that next week if you don't win the league, which might happen. You never know. Um, you know, more certainly the Luton staying up. I think they needed thirteen uh, yeah, goals swing there, didn't they? Yeah, against Forest. Um, <laughs> against Forest, that could fucking happen, man. <laughs> 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 Honestly. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Um, uh, please like and subscribe because it's helping us. And uh, yeah, you'll probably see Gavin and Van Persie top. I think next start of next season. Yeah.
Tschüss, Lass. Was können wir schon denken? <lacht>